here down in Metro. Behind me is our test kitchen. This is the fourth year of the experiment. It's a full-size test of the cooking system. We have the cook stove inside, and then we can do ventilation interventions with this experimental setup. Hi, I'm Shika. I'm interning with Umbrella Services Center for the summer. So this is the inside of our test kitchen where we have meticulously placed all these sensors to capture the concentration of PM2.5. We have made a horizontal grid and a vertical grid. And we are, we are using a test filter to get the gravimetric calibration for a reference measurement of PM2.5. We also have temperature thermocouples placed in a vertical manner to understand the temperature profile across the length of the test kitchen while doing the test. So now I'm sitting at the driver's seat and this is where we can monitor the emissions rate of the stove. So we can, uh, we can operate the stove through the wall, and this way we're not exposed to the emissions from the fire. You can hear a big fan in the background. That's creating uh, air exchange of this whole building that's surrounding the test kitchen. So we started the experiments over the past few years operating the stove like this. And then we use a partial capture uh, sampler, and it uses the carbon balance method to give us the emissions rates. So we're monitoring the emissions rate of PM2.5 and carbon monoxide and CO2 as we do the test. Monitoring these emissions allows us, it gives us a degree of quality control. We know this test was 30 milligrams per minute, the next one was 50 or 15. That makes a big difference for the, the results and, and certainly for the concentration inside. The other thing you can see here a little bit is uh, we've got holes along the bottom and those are the air inlets and we have fans along the top and those fans along with the power supply allows us to control the ventilation rate of the kitchen. Through the window you can see a little bit of the natural draft hood that we're testing now. It's facing the wrong way. In earlier experiments, the, the stove was accessible from this side, and you can see it through the window. In the previous test, test we were uh, using the three cylindrical chimneys, but now that we have switched to a square chimney with the hood turned towards the inside of the test kitchen to excavate the gases and the particulate matter from the combustion. Earlier we used to feed the fire from outside the wall, but now that we have turned the hood inside, we, we can now perform the test from inside. This is because when we switched to the square hood, we got such, such good results that there was almost no emissions inside the test kitchen. And it was so brilliant that we were encouraged and motivated to go inside and perform the test. So this is how we gather the data. So we have a concentration uh, measuring probe up here that records all the emissions from the combustion. Then we monitor the temperature of the water that is that has been heated. Initially, to light up the fire, we use some amount of kindling and then we, we use a specific kind of wood whose properties and chemical compo composition we are aware about. We're doing a water boiling test in the test kitchen so that we can compare the data we get here to what we have in the from the lambs and the total capture hood. We wanted to show you the test process inside because we're not exposed to too much smoke. We're actually down below the WHO intermediate 
target of 35 micrograms per meter cubed, average drug of 24 hours. We haven't looked at the data in detail from this configuration with the hood, but the, uh, the one that was performing worse was at that level. So we think we're lower, maybe at 10 now. So this hood is designed to work uh, from the, seat, the seated position for people to cook on the floor on a small stool like this. We can raise it up higher uh, for people to cook while standing. Even though I'm sitting right next to the fire, I, I can hardly smell any kind of smoke. With, with this close vicinity to the fire. And to create a better ventilation, we have cut out a hole right in front of the hood, which provides it with just sufficient air draft that carries all the smoke out right through the hood without get, getting it diffused inside the test kitchen. So now I'm looking at the emissions rates as they're being generated by the stove during the stove test. I'm not driving the boat anymore. We just have the monitoring station outside because it's so clean. So you can see the water temperature inside the pot. And we're being careful to not let the water boil or come over about 75 C because those light scattering sensors at high humidity are very sensitive uh, to the humidity. Then we have the red line for carbon monoxide, the black line for the particulate matter, the blue line for the CO2. For these carbon balance partial capture measurements, we need to have a really strong signal for CO2. So we have to balance the dilution rate to make sure that we're not maxing out the sensor and to make sure that we don't, are there, we don't have too low of a measurement. For particulate matter, we have to make sure to load the filter high enough. And same thing, we, don't, we can't plug the filter. We're also measuring the flow rate through the filter. And we're doing that digitally so we can watch for uh, whether or not the filter is plugged. We're looking at the top of the chimney of the hood. You can see a little bit of movement of that spider web by the light. That's because of the draft from the hood. One of the exploratory tests we did was with a rain cap. So there's a piece of wood with blue tape on it on the ceiling. We had put that on top of the chimney so that when it's installed in a house, it's protected from the rain. And we just did exploratory tests, but so far we can't smell any emissions. And we'll use the instruments to give us a number. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. We're really looking for feedback on uh, what people think about natural draft hoods, where you've seen them, why don't you, why don't you use them. And we're here at the lab to test them. The last important thing about this room is that uh, we ventilate the entire room outside of the test kitchen. And so we have a big loud fan, which I want you to hear. So we turn it on. And it's just so loud that we can't make a movie with it on. But that's how we keep the room clean during testing.